This tutorial is from Washington University Libraries. You found a great resource and now you want to find others like it using the bibliography. We're going to use a tool called Citation Linker to do that today. First, copy the citation out of the bibliography. Then we'll go to the library homepage and from the articles or e-journals tab we can connect to Citation Linker. We're going to copy in the entire citation and then take out the parts. First the journal, then the volume, then the issue with no special characters, the page number, the author's last name, and the date. This tool helps you find partial citations, so if you don't have everything that's okay, but the more you have the better off you'll be. Our search took us to JSTOR, but it tells us there's an error. Let's go back and take the page number out and search again. This time it connects us to the Get It screen, and we'll search by journal. And it takes us to Science. We know Science is our journal. We can copy the title out of the Get It screen and paste it into the JSTOR interface. And we have found our article. You might ask, why not start at JSTOR? But if you don't know where your articles come from, it's hard to know where to begin. That's when Citation Linker can be useful. You may have noticed when we were filling in our form that there were two fields we didn't use. That was the DOI and the PMID. DOI is a digital object identifier. It looks like this. Many contemporary articles have this unique standard number. And when you have that, that's all the information you need to put into Citation Linker. It will find the article on its own. A PMID is connected to a database called PubMed, which you might use when you're looking for biomedical or behavioral research. This is what a PMID looks like. It's also a unique standard number. Plug it in. and it immediately finds the article you're looking for. Citation Linker is just one of the useful tools offered by Washington University Libraries.